Hello everyone, my name is Deng Liang, a software engineer in ByteDance. In this Hello everyone, my name is Deng Liang, a software engineer in ByteDance. In this topic, I will introduce our work KVM Dword. I will present the technique detail of how to extend KVM to a zero overhead partition hypervisor. The first part is our motivation. We observe the trend in our data center that the core number of a single server increases rapidly. For example, there are already 384 cores on AMD Genova and 224 cores on Intel ISLAC. Running a single Linux kernel on many cores introduces some problems. Firstly, the Linux kernel encounters many core scalability bottlenecks. For example, the lock contentions in the file system, network stack, process scheduler, memory management, and so on. The second problem is the fault isolation. If, when, if one application crashes the kernel, the whole server crashes. Um, this things can be even more even worse if the number of applications increase. The third one is that it is hard to fulfill applications specific kernel requirement on a single kernel such as kernel configurations and kernel boot parameters. The existing method to solve these problems may be to use KVM visualization to partition the server and run separate guest kernel in each VM. However, the current visualization overhead is non-trivial or maybe still high. The overhead is caused by additional VM exits due to timer and IPI visualization, um, volatile notifications, some privileged instructions, host interrupt. We also observe that post interrupt, which is introduced by VMS to eliminate VM exit for guest interrupt. Um, still incurs some overhead for its complex uh, hardware pass designed for security. Moreover, additional address tra translations such as stage 2 address translations um, such as EPT on Intel or MPT on MD and uh, DMA remap translations also contribute to the overhead. So we introduce KVM Divert that runs bare-metal machines for physical resource partition instead of security isolation on both Intel and AMD platforms. It leverages a set of pass-through techniques to eliminate all VM exit after guest kernel initialization phase. Additional address trans translations also eliminated by its um, memory devirtualization and uh, DMA devirtualization techniques. As a result, BM for a single partition can achieve the same performance as a native host. BM's, per BM's performance can even better than native host for multiple partitions since it uses separate guest kernels to resolve the contention problems. In the following, I will detail these techniques. The first is interrupt pass-through. We do not use posted interrupt, instead we pass 
physical local APIC registers, including IRR, ISR, and EOI, directly to the VM and uh, configure the external interrupt existing bit in VMCS to deliver guest interrupt directly to node mode. However, this configuration will also cause the host interrupt also delivered to node mode and lost. To prevent this, we configure the host interrupt arriving at the guest course as NMI and thus VM exit is triggered for it. In addition, we you we re-trigger a self-IPI in host NMI handler to solve IRQ mask issue. To do visual interrupt injection to guest, we only need to send a physical self-IPI and a VM entry, since physical local APIC has passed through to VM. After introduce interrupt pass through, the interrupt map logic for pass through device is also changed. Um, we directly fill the IRTE in IOMU hardware with guest vector of the guest device interrupt, and the API CID of the physical where BM runs. Thus, the interrupt of pass through device, which is configured as IQ type, can be directly delivered to nouns mode where BM runs. Mm, when BM changes the virtual IQ to vCPU binding relations or the guest vectors, the VFL model in host. Uh, can update the IRT with the new value. In the following, we will introduce a technique named IPI pass through. The BM can directly assess the physical ICR register in local APIC as we set the ICR register as pass through mode in the VMCS on Intel or VMCB on AMD platforms. At the sending call, the BM first maps its visual API CID of the target vCPU to the physical API CID and uh, directly assesses the ICR to send the IPI. So as a receiving call, the IPI, which is configured as the IRQ type can be directly delivered to BM without any VM exit. This process has been detailed in the above technique named interrupt pass through. Mm, the next technique is the timer pass through. The BM can directly assess the TSC deadline MSR register since we have set it as pass through mode in the VMCS or VMCB. During the execution of LAPIC next event, the BM directly sets the timer deadline to the physical TSC deadline. MSR register. Since the BM can only see the visual TSC, it should first subtract the guest host TSC offset from the timer deadline. The offset is mapped by KVM into BM at BM startup. On LAPIC timer expiration, the timer interrupt, which is configured as IQ type, can be directly delivered to VM without VM exit. The next technique is memory devirtualization that removes the use of stage 2 translations such as EPT on Intel or NPT on AMD platforms. When BM updates its guest page tables, it first translates the GFN in the update request to 
PFN. Thus, guest page tables directly use PFNs and uh, EPTs are not needed. When the BM reads its guest page, page tables, it also translates the PFN into GFN. To support the translations between GFNs and the PFNs in BM, KVM stat statically pins BM's guest memory at BM startup and maps both GFNs to PFN and PFN to GFN mappings into BM. In addition, we use a hypercore in guest, guest page board handler to, in, to emulate a MMIO trap to host. The next is DMA devirtualization that enumerates the use of IOMMU page tables. When the pass-through device driver invokes the DMA map function before ensuring a DMA request, it first relies on the GFN to PFM mappings to translate the GPA in the DMA request to HPA. Thus, the DMA remap is not required and we can just configure the IOMMU DMA remap hardware as pass-through mode. Additional modification to the device driver is also required to ensure that the DMA map is invoked as page size granularity. The last technique is Votile notification pass-through. When the Votile front-end in BM sends a notification to back-end, it directly assesses the physical ICR register to send an IPI to the host calls without any VM exit. When the backend sends notification to front end, front end in BM, it also sends IPI with guest vector to the guest call. So the API is then delivered to BM based on the interrupt pass-through technique without any VM exit. Other optimizations to remove VM exit include CPU isolation, no host for handling CPU ID in BM directly with uh, dynamic binary writing, delaying some host APIs to the next VM exit and uh, uh, do pass through for the heart and the MA M weight instruction. Um, finally, we give our performance results. Here is the IPI lat latency result. The left one is for Intel. We can see that the IPI latency in BM is nearly equal to that in native host, but the VM's IPI latency based on upstream KVM is much worse. MD result is on the right. The IPI latency in BM is nearly equal to native host. It is even much better than the VM when AVIC is enabled. Here is the timer latency result based on our micro benchmark. The benchmark measures the latency from setting a immediate expelled deadline to the arrival of the timer interrupt. The left one is for Intel. The timer latency in BM is equal to that in native host. The result in VM, however, is much worse than the BM. The right figure is for AMD, as we see the result on AMD is similar. Mm, here is our micro benchmark result for Catch 9 Prefetch, um, which we think uh, can represent the page table work overhead. The latency in BM, which is 9.35. Uh, is nearly equal to 9.6 um, 
3.2 in native host. The latency of the VM with 4K besides APT um, is worse. Um, the result is 14.3. Um, to our surprise, the latency of the VM with 1 GB page size APT is also worse than the VM. Its result is 11.1. Um, even if the APT TLBs are always hit in this situation. Um, we also test KVM Divert on real world application in our ByteDance data center. In the following, we refer to the application as XS for confidentiality. Firstly, we compare KVM divert to the upstream KVM. In the table, we show XX end-to-end -end latency improvement in using the VM as a baseline. As we see, the VM can achieve 20% to 30% performance increase compared to the VM. Um, the, with only the interrupt pass through, IPI pass through, timer pass through optimizations, the improvement is 8%. And uh, with only the memory devirtualization, the improvement is 14%. Percent and with only the DMA devirtualization optimizations, the improvement is two percent. So the overall overall improvement is twenty percent to thirty percent. Yes. And uh, secondly, we compare KVM divert to the native host. On the left table, we show the result that we use KVM Diver to partition the server with only one VM and run a Nexus in it. The XX end to end latency is nearly equal to native host. And uh, on the right side, we show the result that we use KVM Diver to partition the server with four VMs and run a XX in each partition. The XS end to end latency is better than the native host in this situation as we can see nearly 9% improvement, yes. And uh, this improvement is mainly due to the decrease of kernel contention in separate gas kernels in this situation. And uh, at last, we discuss the current status and our future work of the KVM Divert. The current in the for the current status, uh, we support both Intel and uh, AMD platforms, and uh, uh, we support both QEMU and uh, Cloud Hypervisor as uh, VMM. For the future work, uh, and we plan to push our host kernel and uh, guest kernel patches to the upstream. And uh, we also um, plan to support live migration for the BM and uh, support whatever belong and memory hot plug for the BM. The above is the technique detail of our work, KVM Divert. Mm, to conclude, we have introduced our PASU and the visualization techniques, which successfully remove all visualization overhead in the wrong time. We also show that using our partition 
can improve performance even compared to native host. Thank you very much for your listening and uh, any questions is uh, very appreciated.